Well, Melod Milo, aka Fula, and I'm back to keep you posted on what is happening in the Plus 256 Uganda. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok, right here on YouTube, subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. <music> Now, the American President Joe Biden has released an official statement on President Museveni's enactment of the anti-homosexuality bill. Now, Joe Biden has directed the National Security Council to reevaluate the implications on all aspects of U.S. engagement with Uganda. Now, Joe Biden has said his government is considering application of sanctions and restriction of entry into the United States of America against anyone involved in serious human rights abuses or corruption in Uganda. Now, Joe Biden said the enactment of the Anti-Homosexuality Act is a tragic violation of the universal human rights and one that jeopardizes the prospects of economic growth for Uganda. Now, finally, Joe Biden said he has been receiving reports of violence and discrimination targeting the LGBTQ community in Uganda. Yes, so it seems the worst is yet to come for Uganda, according to the way the world has responded to this matter. But our God as a country is alive. I believe we will overcome all these threats. Now, relatedly, veteran journalist Andrew Mwenda and Horrible Fox Odoi, through their lawyers, have already reported to court to challenge the enactment of this bill. Well, it should be remembered that yesterday, Horrible Semu Junganda, Chiram Municipality Member of Parliament, said that the Semu Seveni, who has signed the anti-homosexuality bill, will be the same person who will challenge it in court through other people, just like it was in 2014.